went to go to Shala School, which is called Gasside Santo Inacio Leona. Yeah, and um, we'll see you there. Um, we're with my Shala, Brianna, and my mom, and we'll just see you there. So we met Father Isaias um, in the school and he got one of his students to show us around and give us a tour so we could be able to see how the school was like and how it was like to be a student there. First time here? Yeah, it's my first time here. Okay, so actually it's called like our general corridor where all the students from pre-secondary to secondary, we all actually um, enjoy it here. But first, it's kind of nerve-wracking, yeah, because as you know, this school is like competitive. Everyone here is so competitive. But actually, after coming in, everyone was just so friendly. And this is our canteen. That's the yeah. Is it like, uh, how's it, how's like your experience here, so being here, a student here so far? Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm on my last grade. I'm on year 12. Yeah. Um, actually, now we're preparing for our uh, national exam. Oh. Yeah, it's actually all, all Timorese uh, schools will take that exam. And uh, how do I feel? I feel both um, sad and happy. Uh, sad because I'm going to be separated from all my friends after I'm done with uh, my, my school. Yeah. And I'm happy because I'm sure that all my friends will definitely do well on their exams uh, because everyone is really trying hard actually we have like remedial classes these classes that we take after uh, lunch break um, we have this uh, class for like we have four classes right? four classes yeah four classes and then we're going to be mixed up yeah uh, and then we form a group and we study together so like so our study bond, group. Yeah, our bond is so like strong. So like when I don't know what will happen after you know not waking up in the morning to come to school, it's kind of nerve wracking. So this is actually our laboratory. If you wanna go. Yes. So which school are you from? Um, I am. Um, I go to school in England and I'm Saint Nicholas. Oh, um, what's your grade? Uh, I'm year seven. Oh, I mean year eight. Year eight? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, 
laboratory. Laboratory. Look over there. And is this your sister? Uh, my cousin. Oh, oh Hine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our laboratory. This is for biology and geology. Here. These are the saints picture because every class have their own designated um, saints. Is that just teacher? like ours because mine's a Catholic school. So oh, okay. Chemistry. Yeah. These are the, I don't know, for practice. Do you like going to school here? Yeah, of course. Because the, the environment here is so friendly. Um, and we're given the chance to express ourselves. Yeah, this is for math. No. Yeah. We do, you know, group projects and stuff. Yeah, so. Your school, how's your school? Can you also tell me about it? My school, um, my school's um, good. Um, they try to, they give us a chance to express ourselves and they care about our mental health and everything. Mm -hmm. But they also push us to study hard and work hard. Mm -hmm. And like they um, push us to work as a group and um, like get ideas out and get um, share it with each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is our school canteen. Um, these are all chairs, you know, tables. Yeah, me and my friends usually stay at the back. Uh, yeah. That space is like a long table. Me and all my friends used to eat our lunches there. So we made year 12's um, class. These are my friends. Yeah, here's my classroom. Do you want to take a look? that um, the students going to have their ex admission exam here so they were like good luck they write it on the board and it turns out that we don't include this class for that mission yeah. 40 people 40 people yeah that's a lot but currently it's 39 what would you we created our own garden it's for a competition oh. and we're the first place because just look how beautiful it is like everything we created by ourselves here. That's cool. These are the, um, the second class. Yeah. So these are all classrooms? Yeah, 12. So this is uh, the first one that we visited. It's ours. It's like 12A, yeah. 12B, 12C, and the, the, the last one is 12D. 12D. Yeah. Our last class is for um, a program called... Social, social science? Yeah. Yeah, where they study about, you know, social history, geography, and stuff. And for us, we study a lot about science, like physics and chemistry. Are you, do you like it? Physics, chemistry? I don't like chemistry. I like biology. Oh, yeah, bio, biology is fun. Which, what would you say that um, the school could improve on doing? Uh, what? Hold on. What do you think the school can improve on doing? Um, the school can improve, like, actually, right now, the school is more focused on Portuguese. I yeah. think so. So, if I were to give a suggestion, I would like the school to be, uh, you know, not to only focus on Portuguese, but also English. Because as you all know, right, English is universal. And Portuguese are only for, you know, yeah, a few East. countries, yeah, not really, right? But everyone, if, if everyone in the school can speak, you know, Portuguese, yeah. like English, it would be so fun. Because, yeah. And also, like, my my class, we like English better than you know, Portuguese. But, yeah, that's the official language of Timor, Portuguese. So we need to, these are the teachers' photos. We have separated photos for teachers. When you first came here to test, would you say the test was quite hard? Yeah, definitely. If you don't study, it could be, you know, quite hard. Huh. Uh, this was actually for the disabled, but we don't have any, any you know, disabled person at school. But if they were to come, 
we provide, you know, special toilets for them. They used to. Wait! Yeah, but it's closed. How many students do you think get accepted into this school? Oh, okay. For right now? Yeah. For pre secondary, they're going to accept 124 students. Yeah. But the registered are 384. So the competition is really high because three students will be competing for one chair. For, yeah, for, for uh, pre-secondary. And for secondary, it will be um, 40 students, but the applicants are more than more than 400 or 500. That's so lot. yeah, so six students will be competing for one chair. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah, that's a lot. Have you been to a multi-purpose hall? No, no, yet. Oh yeah, we can do. The best idea. Gym. I'm here. Babayan nga sa I'm here. I'm here. Limer basket. Pasong gusto na yata toro pa niya. I'm here. Oh guys. And also volleyball. Yeah. We bought the. This is the gym where they do all the exercises like basket, volleyball, and. Soccer, soccer, soccer ball, football, and if we have as a uh, drama bombs. music, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the stage. Yeah, the stage. Can we have mass in here? Sometimes. Um, uh, that's I think the testing. We want to go there. Alara. Are they testing? Huh? Yeah. Oh. They're having tests. That's the people who are having tests in that classroom. So do you just have all one classroom? Mm -hmm. Just like one classroom and you don't go from one class to another class? What do you mean? Like one classroom mm. but with different teachers. Yeah. Oh, for us we have like um, one full room and then after that the next lesson we have to walk around the school mm. and find the other class. But you just stay at one class in the yeah, teacher's just one class. Yeah, I'm in my bath for the man in it. Yeah. I'm not Yeah, we I'm playing with soccer in Havani. Ne, I'm in my mind is Dorne. And if we have lunch, we can here and sit here so that I'm in corner. Sometimes I'm your bus para koto. Para koto nanti at tama school man nilao. Oh. Ito balaran na. Ha? Balaran. Balaran na. School of what me? The least story. Ito pa yung school. Ito yung lahat. The least story. Ano si Lama? Maram. So you have like separate... Misha na para mami. So you have separate spaces for separate, yeah. separate um, grades. Yeah. If you go to that, I'm counting the corner. Time is running. So you buy SMP? Hmm? SMP? Uh-uh. Yeah, SMP. SMP, SMP. Yeah, seven, SMP, year eight, uh, year uh, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, seven, eight, nine. Mm. That is SMP. I'm going to school at Eden. Huh? I'm going to school at Eden. School at Eden? Yeah, these are, wait these are all the people who are waiting for the kids to finish their tests and exams. They also have different bathrooms for different grades. Those are the people doing the tests. That's the university over there. Oh, they're still doing the test. This is the grade seven. Yeah, seven. Can you want to go to the toilet? No. 
the disabled. And so it's the same as the others. Oh, yeah. These are the recyclings. Where they recycle the plastics and the bottles. Some people actually come out here and have their break and lunch here. That's their hospital. The, like where they have the nurses and everything. They also have school security. Over there. That's the entrance of the school, by the way. Look at that. Thank you, Mana Penelope, for giving me a tour around the school and I wish you the best on your national exams. Also, thank you for the teachers contributing into my learning. I learned a lot during my visit. Faculty room. So it's where the teachers do their work. Uh, so this is where all the teachers. So these are teachers doing their work, correcting papers, homework. And this is, as I said, our faculty's room, teacher's room, where teachers are divided into four departments. Science, uh, natural sciences, one department, social science, another department, languages, another de department, then the other general subjects, we, we, we don't know how to classify, classify them, so we, we call them general department. Mm -hmm. So for languages, this, our students here, they study four, four languages. In, in junior high, they study three. Portuguese, English, and Tetum. And when they move to senior high, from, starting from grade 8, they will also study Indonesian. More focused on. Actually, more, yeah, because we focus on more on Portuguese because it is the official language. But also, it's according to our timetable. English is also given emphasis. Indonesian, because many of our students here, after finishing their high school, they some of them go to Indonesia. So. Social sciences, they do history and geography, sociology, economics, and Antro? Anthropology is the, it's it's also sociology. They make ah, the okay. and then literature, yeah. so, social uh, natural sciences. Um, we study biology, physics, chemistry, and geology. Mm. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, and every day. Our, our school, we start at 8, we finish at 3.30. Um, in one day, they have seven periods. One period for one subject. So, for example, this is our, our schedule. We organize it, we don't call it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, we call it day one. So that when, if, for example, Monday is day one, and tomorrow, Tuesday, is day two, but it is a holiday, Usually, if it's Monday and th Thursday, if ma Monday you have class, Tuesday you, ha you, you, you are on holiday, Wednesday you come back, you already miss the subject for Tuesday. Oh. But this method is, this system, you know, day one, day two, day three, so today is day one, you have class, tomorrow it's an off day, but then when you come back, the next day is still day two. Oh. So we don't miss a lot of uh, hours or uh, lessons, yeah. Mm. We have about 44 teachers. 
each has a seat on a table. In total, for this school year, we have 834 students. Out of the 834 students, we have 64% of our students reside in Guinea. But they are not necessarily from here, they are from other districts. They are going to study here, so they stay with their family members, the relatives in Guinea. And then the rest we have from Lekisa. Right now, the candidates for grade 7, the candidates who are taking the admission test right now, they are 348, but we only accept 120. And for grade, seven, uh, grade 10, since we already have some students in grade 9, those who will join us next year, we already have some students, so we only uh, open to accept 14 new, 14 new new students, so only 40 for grade, grade 10. And now, right now, the candidates are taking the, the entrance test. They are in total 240, so it means 200 will be excluded. <laughs> so. We try to control the quantity in order to maintain the quality. I am the director, and under me I have four vice directors. One, that, one vice director for formation, this is office. He is taking care of the well-being of the students and the teachers. And then, and then, Vice Director for Administration. So he is the one in charge of the contract, of the recruitment, of the discipline of the teachers. So, for example, this, this uh, board is when if the teacher has a name here, means the teacher, whether he, arrived, he or she arrived late or he is not, he is absent from the day. So, this is a Japanese discipline because I'm Vice Director for Administration in the Japanese. And then we have another Vice Director for uh, Academics, who is in charge of the curriculum, with the exam, things like admission test, selection of, of teachers, selection of students. And then another one is the Vice Director for Finance, which is great care of the money. Sinta, Hello. Sinta, how are you doing? Leticia, how are you doing? Hello. I'm a Hanis Ubrinya. In Australia, five like in Europe, in the United Kingdom, we have 11 schools. Of like this, Jesuit school. <laughs> School. In France, nine, 19, Spain, 68, Portugal, 3. Oh, okay. Oxford, we have one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Manchester? Yeah. Manchester? Manchester, 2. You can just Google it in Jesuit School. Yeah. Boards and other Recently, you can. And yeah, in this spelling we are, we are we are in the second place. But look at this. I wonder we are in the second place. High school spelling bee. This is spelling bee competition, and they misspell. <laughs> so. What is that for, Kanisha so, College? Yeah, we are in partner with Kanisha. I'm a school. Thank you for Father's Day for giving me this opportunity to be able to visit the school and shaping my knowledge. Also, thank you for your kindness during my visit. This, this is the 
So these are the four core values of the school. Conscience, uh, commitment, compassion, and competence. So we'd like to instill in our students uh, these four values, which for us, the Jesuit education, reflects the human uh, excellence. A, an excellent human being should have these four values. Yeah, yes. Not only the students, but also the teachers. Whoever passed through here, it is our dream that they embody, or they invite this four core values. So we would like to call this tree as tree of life and tree of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. And from that to this side. And beyond this wall is the, the higher institute. Yeah. University. Yeah, it's like university, but this is edu uh, education.